Hi Aries, welcome to Tarot Readings by Rodgersby. I hope you guys are all doing well. Aries, this is going to be your reading from October 12th to the 25th, 2020. If the reading doesn't resonate for you, Aries, please watch your other signs. I'm using the Witch's Tarot. And Aries, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, for additional live weekly readings. Love to have you guys there. And I'm also, every year I do a Halloween party on my Facebook page. It's $25 per person. You get a $45 reading, gifts. If you're dressed up, you'll get a deck of cards. All right. I'd love to have you guys there. It's so much fun. All right. Let's focus here. Aries. October 12th to the 25th. Spirit for Aries. Okay, your central issue. Well, Queen of Wands reversed. That's you. Seven of Swords reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. Six of Swords. And the Ten of Swords reversed. Okay. Um... Let's see here. Well, so, well, let's start with you guys. Some of you are really, really pissed off, very angry, or you're dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But you're absolutely moving on. You have two major endings here with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords. You know, an ending in love, it could also done with feeling betrayed and hurt emotionally and mentally, you are done. Some of you, the truth came out about a situation or another person. It could be you, another fire sign. Or you up and left someone. Like, you literally decided to just go with the Six of Swords. For some of you, you could have quit your job. Very big ending here. Like, that's it. It's over. It's over with family, a family member. It's over with the job. There's nothing more I can say. It is just over. I do love the fact that you're in, you're, you are in, tr in transition here with the Six of Swords. But the only problem is the Queen of Wands is you. And you're st still carrying some issues with you. But right now, you are just like in the process of leaving this turbulent, shitty time. There is absolutely a truth that has come out. Again, whether it's about you or a fire sign. So let's clarify it because. What was I going to say? Because I really do want to see where you're going. Whether it's a, res a residential, mo residentially moving or you quit your job or you're just moving on in life. The Everyday Witch Tarot. Um, what do I want to start with here? Definitely the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Okay. Flew right out of the deck. going here. Interesting. Queen of Pentacles reversed. So you could have Earth in your chart. Or you could have an, uh, an Earth sign. 
Actually, you know what this looks like? An earth sign accidentally, they didn't do it on purpose. They accidentally revealed the truth. You were, com you were communicating with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn and they slipped. Or you've been at war with this person. And again, both of these women are reversed. So you could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn that's attached to the truth coming out. Very possible. I do feel like that's what it really is. Like this earth sign blurted something out and it really was an accident. All right, let me see the Six of Swords. Ace of Cups reversed. You're moving on in love. For some of you, let me see this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands for Aries. What is this for Aries? Oh, something flipped over. Wow. King of Swords reversed. Ah. Uh, some of you could be dealing with two people, two different people, or you're dealing with, unbelievable, this is a three-party situation, three cups. You're dealing with a fire sign that is really one manipulative bitch. If it's you, I'm really sorry. I mean... This person is, is horrible. Again, if it's not you, it's someone that you're dealing with. Whoever it is, they are super fired up. You could have a cruel, manipulative air sign, Libra Gemini Aquarius, connected to you and this person. Really could be, that could be part of the problem with this big ending, betrayal. It's weird because these are clarifiers, right? So I'm going to say you could have air and fire in your chart, Aries. And guys, this is just really bad, guys. Like, I am very sorry. Whoever is resonating with this reading, you cannot fix this. It is just really over. And listen, you will know if this reading resonates for you. If this resonates for you, I would strongly suggest getting a private reading. I never hardly ever say that. So I'm going to pull you one of these, which is Wisdom Oracle Cards. Absolutely amazing. They're only red in the upper, right? Aries. Well, alrighty then. Oh, I can't even make this up. Come on. It's over. Death. It is definitely over. Over. I mean, this card just says it all. I mean, I just said you cannot fix this. You can't. Maybe some of you could. But if you're going through this and you want to fix this, you really do need a private reading, Aries. Whether it's with me, someone else. I mean, for sure. But if it did, you know, didn't resonate, definitely watch your other signs. And Aries, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. Absolutely adore you guys, and I'll see you back here with your love monthlies. Take care.